Okay, in this video, we're going to look at a quick number theory result. So the first thing we want to do is recall the binomial coefficient. So r choose k is r times r minus 1 all the way down to r minus k plus 1 over k factorial. And then there's also this other fact we, which we won't prove, but I've got a video where I prove it called Bezu's identity, which says that for all m and n, which are natural numbers, there exist x and y, which are integers, such that mx plus ny equals the GCD of m and n. In other words, the GCD of m and n can be written as a linear combination of m and n. And the way that you do this in practice is via something called the extended Euclidean algorithm. So again, I got a bunch of videos on that kind of stuff too. So the quick result that I want to look at here is the following observation. So for all natural numbers m and n, the G GCD of mn over n times this binomial coefficient um, n choose m is a natural number. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the proof of this. So maybe the first thing to notice is that it's most definitely um, bigger than or equal to zero. Um, I guess I should say the natural numbers including zero because if m is bigger than n, then uh, this is going to be equal to zero. But you know, I'll just kind of leave it like this. So um, it's positive or <clears throat> so it's non-negative uh, because of what we just said. Now let's go ahead and uh, find x and y in the integers such that mx plus ny equals the GCD of m and n. So we're going to use this identity. Okay, now let's put that into our expression. So we'll have mx plus ny over n times this binomial coefficient n choose m. So that's going to be the same thing as mx over n times n choose m plus y times n choose m. Okay, so notice we've already got something right here which is most definitely an integer because n choose m is an integer and y is an integer. Now let's just look at this part right here. So notice we can decompose this a little bit. This is going to be x times m over n, and then the binomial coefficient will be n times n minus 1, all the way down to n minus m plus 1. And then in the bottom, we have m factorial, but I'm going to go ahead and write that as m times m minus 1 factorial. And then this guy we're going to leave as is, so this is y, and then the binomial coefficient n choose m. Now let's cancel some stuff in this first term. So notice this n and this n cancel, and then this m and this m cancel. And let's look at what we have left. We have this falling product in the numerator that starts at n minus 1 and then has how many total terms? It has m minus 1 total terms. And then we have m minus 1 in the denominator. So that is exactly the definition of n minus 1 choose m minus 1. Great. And then just bringing this thing down, we have this is y times n choose m. But notice those are both integers because binomial coefficients are always integers. Well, if you plug natural numbers into them, they are. And then x and y are integers given by Bayes' theorem or by the extended Euclidean algorithm algorithm if you're working out examples, which makes this whole thing an integer. But then we know that it's bigger than or equal to zero by our previous discussion. Okay, I'm going to clean up the board and then we're going to really quickly look at a corollary for this. So we just got done establishing this result that if we take this fraction, the GCD of m n over n and multiply it to this binomial coefficient, we get a whole number. So now let's look at this corollary, which says that uh, for all, um, maybe we'll say k between 1 and p minus 1, where p is a prime, we have that 1 over p times p choose k is a natural number. In other words, i.e., p divides 
the binomial coefficient p choose k or p choose k is a multiple of p. So there's a bunch of ways to get this um, in the prime case, but I really like this as being a really simple corollary of this more general case. All right, that finishes this video.